Worthing Library took a step back in time when staff and volunteers donned period costumes and took turns to be pictured in an authentic Victorian photographer's studio. The event was to launch an exhibition of the Water Gardener Photography Collection at the library. The collection contains over 100,000 images of Worthing and West Sussex dating back over two centuries. The images come from the studios of Water Gardener. Three generations of the Gardner family ran a photographic business in Sussex from 1882 onwards. Well, it's the biggest and most precious photographic collection the library service has ever acquired in nearly 120 years of its existence. The quality of the collection is of the highest order. They, they used uh, Gandolfi cameras, uh, one of which is, is here in front of us. Um, which effectively were the, was the most expensive type of camera you could buy right from the late 1880s when the company was uh, formed uh, right the way through to today where they, I gather they still make uh, period cameras, mahogany and brass cameras. So the equipment was very important. Many of the scenes on display have long been lost to posterity but others show how little has changed during the past hundred years. Derek Gardner is the grandson of the founder of the business. I think it'll be of interest. I think it'll be, um, for researchers obviously, it's, it's, it's valuable because this is how it really was. Um, for ordinary people, I suppose it's a bit of a curiosity, and a bit of fun. Not only are there thousands of portraits on local scenes, there are also some highly unusual and very important commercial photographs taken for local firms. They show how industry in West Sussex has taken shape over the years. Since the library acquired the photographs, volunteers have worked to ensure the images are properly cleaned, catalogued and cared for. They, uh, they listed the photographs, they numbered each of them, they uh, restored them to some extent, cleaned them up, put them in archival enclosures, um, and then they passed them up to our digitisation unit. When the work is complete, 2,500 images from the collection will be placed on the West Sussex Past Pictures website so that future and present generations can look back into a way of life which is slowly fading away.